right, how is everyone doing today? Sorry for the soda water. <laughs> today I am going to share with you guys the 10 not so basic basics. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> These are the things in your wardrobe, basically the things that are in your closet that you wear over and over again. And actually, when they get dirty and you try and wash them, you inevitably end up digging them out of your dirty clothes. You know what I'm saying? Those are actually the best things ever, right? This is no BS. Like, you're really going to see the top 10 things I will be wearing constantly. Let's get to it. Uh, first things first, this one is kind of like a 70s throwback and I understand it's not for everyone, but in my world, this is a basic that I have worn for years and years. It is the classic denim jacket lined with shearling. This isn't real shearling sheepskin. This is just, I don't know, it's a synthetic. Let me try it on. We can see this, yes, we can see it. So what I love about the jacket is it has kind of like a rugged feel to it. it. Kind of feels like I just took my boyfriend, well, I don't have a boyfriend. I took my husband's jacket and I really love that boyish kind of style aesthetic. Ooh, you're gonna love this next one. I actually just learned this word. It is a shacket. I had to do a short change. I love a shacket. You know why? Because it's that light layer that also kind of, again, has that boyfriend style. I guess that's my personal style. I just love that effortless grab and go out the door look. And especially now we're not doing that much. We like to be stylish and comfortable. Uh, I got this one at H&M. It's faux leather. I got it last season, but I'm going to try and link a similar one in the description below. Okay, let's be honest. Everyone knows, well, I hope you guys know that I'm the crazy hat lady because I invented Top Tote the hat holder. So of course, hats had to be on my list, this is actually one of our newest styles. Isn't it so, can you guys see, isn't it so cute? It's blue and green, but then when you attach your hat, you just see the blue. I designed it that way, so when it is on your handbag, it looks like a chic little handbag charm, right? Can you guys see? Ah, I love it. Is it me? Nuts are definitely a part of my fall basics, especially for bad hair days, and uh, obviously top tote. That's the reason I wear hats as well. Okay, please stick with me and do not tune out. Crew neck t-shirts. I wear them constantly. I love them alone. I feel like they look sophisticated and cool, tucked into high-waisted pants. I also love them under blazers. I like to layer them under button-up shirts. So many different things. But what makes these t-shirts the best is the fact that this company called Four Days makes the highest quality basics in all sustainable fabrics. And to make it even better is they have this swap program, which basically means that, you know, I could wear this to shreds and then I can swap it out for something new. So I would send them this and they would send me something new. Isn't that cool? And then they will recycle this old ratty okay. t-shirt. Oh, so you let's do this. Okay. Bias cut skirts. Left my black one at my office. So maybe I'll include the footage in here. I love a just below the knee. I feel like in fall, we tend to just wear jeans, leggings, but this is also really comfortable with like an oversized, oversized sweater or a t-shirt like this. It's just a little thing that you can wear where you feel dressed up, but you're still super comfortable. I even wear these with Converse sneakers, actually mostly that, sand, flat sandals or sneakers. So a little parched. Oh, it's kind of hot too. That's the thing about fall. You never know if it's cold and then you wear a layer and then you're like, oh, it's actually hot. And then you're like, no, it's cold. I actually did a TikTok about this. I will include the link in the description below. Truly, this next basic are my favorite jeans I have ever worn. Okay, there's like a little like stratosphere of maybe a few favorite jeans I've ever worn and this is one of them. These light denim babies from Zara. On, I love the fact that they're light. I feel like that's more of an unconventional denim wash for the fall because I think people typically wear darker and I rarely wash them. You know, it's just, it's just facts and truth and I know that you guys can relate to that because who washes their jeans after everywhere? No one. This next one I think was in my trends video. But like I said, these are cool basics. Cropped jackets. I got this one from Aritzia. You guys, it's a little pricey. I'm not going to lie. At first I was like, ooh, that's expensive. But I have gotten my money's worth out of it because it's just always cute. It's honestly like an outfit in one piece. I mean, look what I just did to this outfit. This is something that is stylish, 
but it's still not so statement worthy that you can get away with wearing it all the time. And it's so nice. I bought it twice. I got it in cream as well. I mean, you know it's good when you want a variety of the same thing. Oh, let's come over here to where I have my sweaters folded because your sweater should not be hanging on a hanger like your shirts. No, 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 no. I'm back here. Thankfully, with mid and high rise pants and jeans staying in fashion, thank the universe. But I digress. Like I was saying, since mid and high rise bottoms are still in style and very flattering, I love to like keep it going by wearing a sweater that doesn't cover up the waist of the jeans. And I just feel like this pullover from Madewell is perfectly proportionate for, well, I guess it depends on your own body. But for me, it's perfectly proportionate. It has that perfect snug kind of shrunken fit. It's a beautiful kind of oatmeal color and it's just... I love her. Where we at? Where we at? Oh, last but not least, actually, I think this was a fave basic of mine last fall, 2019. Oh, remember 2019? Mm. Truly, I don't really wear any other earrings other than chunky hoops. Sorry, chunky hoops. Um, these are kind of my bigger, more statement worthy uh, chunky hoop earrings. Like chic, stylish, not too much, but still a little but maybe a lot for some people, whatever. Um, so these are my larger ones from Madewell. So basically these and these filed under Lindsay's most worn jewelry. Well, earrings, yeah, earrings. Okay, I really hope that was 10 because I'm hot. <laughs> Um, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Sometimes I feel like these basic videos are so boring, but that's why I have you guys so you can tell me. Also, please give me your video recommendations. I would love to hear. Sometimes I create so much content, my mind goes blank, so I need your help. Please leave me your suggestions in the description below. Thank you guys so much for always showing up and tuning into my channel. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Mwah.